Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain the significance of the energy gradient. Consider a mass that is pulled along by a constant force of 2 newtons. Since work done by a constant force is F times S, then after 1 meter, the amount of work done will be 2 joules. Uh, after 2 meters, it will be 4 joules, 6 joules, 8 joules, and so on. If we plot the work done against displacement, we are going to get a straight line graph. The gradient of the graph is 2 joules per meter. 2 joules per meter actually corresponds to 2 newtons. What if the force is not constant? Instead, we have 2 newtons for the first meter, 0 newtons for the second meter, um, 2 newtons for the third meter, and 4 newtons for the last meter. Then the total work done at each position is going to be 2 joules here, 2 joules here, 4 joules here, and 8 joules here. If you plot the energy against displacement graph, you are going to get uh, 4 straight line segments. So when a force is 2 newtons, the energy graph is going to increase at the rate of 2 joules per meter. When a force is 0 newtons, the energy graph increases at the rate of 0 joules per meter. And when the force is 4 newtons, the energy graph increases at the rate of 4 joules per meter. See? The energy gradient corresponds to the force. In general, we can have a continuously varying force, so the energy displacement graph can be any curve. So the instantaneous gradient at any point tells us the force at that point. For example, since the energy gradient here is zero, the force acting on the mass here must be zero. At this position, the energy gradient is very steep, implying that the joules per meter is very large. Uh, we know that the force acting on the mass is large. Whereas at this position, the energy gradient is quite gentle, meaning the joules per meter is quite small. Uh, we know that the force acting on the mass at this position is quite small. By the way, the negative gradient uh, means that the force is leftward since negative work is being done. That the energy gradient corresponds to the force is actually quite obvious mathematically. If each tiny little f times delta s corresponds to a little bit of work done, then the force must be equal to each incremental work done divided by each incremental displacement. If we make delta s really really small, then this term just becomes the gradient of the energy displacement graph. Ta-ta!